ladies and gentlemen, Sam here. Today, I bring you the in-depth camera review of the Redmi Note 5 Chinese edition. Before jumping to that, I'd like to let you know that the Redmi Note 5 Indian version is significantly different from the Chinese edition one. For more information, you can check on gsmarena.com, which I will leave links in the description. Since this video is mainly about the camera test, I'm not going to go through the details about the unboxing, what's new of the software, and to the benchmark test, or anything of those. But there are something I do want to remind is it features micro USB, a headphone jack, and the quick charge 2.0. Okay, enough crap, let's just jump into the camera performance. For reference, I even compared it with iPhone 8 Plus. Why? Because I don't have iPhone 10. Let's start by tackling color. In the first shot of the flowers, the Redmi Note 5 seems boosting exposure significantly. Check those flowers on the top layer. Well, on iPhone 8 Plus, it keeps more details and obviously wins for the most to the left representation of color. Let's compare dynamic range and overall detail. I don't know why when on the backlight condition, sometimes Redmi Note 5 just desaturated so much. Like in this set of picture, you can see the wall of the tall building. It registered almost black on Xiaomi where Apple were closer to source color. But sometimes it even beats Apple like this one. On iPhone, it was like the middle of the picture is on fire and lost details on edge of the building. And on Redmi Note 5, you can see clearly age and have a much better overall viewing experience. This is chicken more samples. A low light for iPhone, it lost less detail in the highlights and has more true to left color. Also the superb denoise and technology on iPhone makes the sky is much more cleaner than on Xiaomi's. Well things a little bit interesting here, near all Xiaomi pictures at night tends to have greenish hue, which makes the picture not as pleasing as on iPhone. But the world of these comparisons make the Redmi Note 5's camera look bad? No, not at all. Come on guys, let's be reasonable. Redmi Note 5, not even the flagship phone from Xiaomi, and the price you can check on Kikibain, only one third of iPhone 8 Plus. What I would say is, overall the camera performance from Redmi Note 5 is fair good enough. And I'm not even talking about the portrait mode, here are some samples of that. You can see in these pictures, Xiaomi did a reasonably good job of blurring the background and it keeps the clear details of the main project. Lastly, it's about the video, since Redmi Note 5 features electronic image stabilization, it produces this incredibly stable footage. After several days of testing, and here's my conclusion. The Redmi Note 5 camera did not perform the best in every situation, but it do produce fair good enough images due to its consistent algorithm. And with some editing or Instagram features, will likely please everyone using it. Besides, it creates awesome bokeh effect and stable video footage. Definitely a major goal in this price tag. And what do you guys think about it? You can leave a comment below. And this is Sammy, please subscribe and see you in next video.